Hello, this is your friend Barney, and I'd really like to share this book with you. The name of the book is A Tent Too Full. The author is Stephen White. He wrote all of the words. And the illustrators are Darren McKee and Bill Alger. They drew the pictures. Now it's time to listen to the story. And when it's time for you to turn the page, you'll hear a sound like this. Are you ready to try? Okay, now open the book. Get ready to turn the page. And turn another page. Good. Now you should be looking at the picture of Baby Bop and me fishing. And that's where our story begins. One summer day, Barney and Baby Bop went camping. I want to see lots of animals, said Baby Bop. Oh, you will, said Barney. This forest is their home. And I want to sleep in a real tent, said Baby Bop. Barney said, <laughs> I know. That's why we brought a tent that is just the right size for two dinosaurs. Later, Barney and Baby Bop had fun taking a nature walk. A warm breeze blew through the leaves on the trees and made the wildflowers dance. That night, they made a campfire and ate roasty, toasty marshmallows. Baby Bop still hadn't seen any forest animals. Maybe tomorrow, Barney said. Soon the sound of crickets told Barney and Baby Bop it was bedtime. They brushed their teeth and put on their pajamas. As Barney put out the campfire, Baby Bop felt a drop of rain. And another. And another. Don't worry about the rain, said Barney. We'll be warm and dry in our tent. Barney and Baby Bob listened to the rain make pit, pat, split, splat sounds on the tent. But then they heard a new sound. A tiny voice said, May I please come in? It was a little wet firefly. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my light with you, he said. Of course we'll share our tent, Barney said. Come on in. Before long, a mother opossum and her babies were at the door. If you let us share your dry tent, she said, I can share the lullabies I sing for my babies. Oh, yes, <laughs> said Baby Bop. Come on in. Next, a brown beaver came to visit. With my strong teeth, I can chew wood, he said. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share some wood for your campfire. Barney said, Come on in. Hello, said a large moose. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my antlers. They're great for hanging things on. Barney said, Come on in. Next, a fox came. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share the secret of where to find the tastiest berries in the forest. Mm. Everyone was glad to say, Come, Come on, on in. in! Suddenly, an owl fluttered in. Ooh. Ooh. Called the owl. 
If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my strong voice. If anyone comes to your door, I can ask, Who, who, who is there? Baby Bop said, Come on in! Gee, said Barney. I think there is someone else at the door. Who, who, who is there? Asked the owl. Just me, said a brown bear. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my warm fur to keep everyone snuggly. Mm. Oh, yeah. We'll be happy to share, said Barney. Everyone bunched and scrunched to make more room. The bear squeezed and squirmed and twisted and turned. Finally, everyone was inside the warm, dry tent. I don't think there's room for even one more friend, said a sleepy baby bop. Then there was a small voice at the door. May I please come in? It was a young raccoon with a black mask around her eyes. Barney asked, Are you all wet too? No, replied the raccoon. I'm not wet. The rain has stopped. But I'm lonely. All the forest animals are gone. <laughs> no, they aren't. <laughs> laughed Barney. They are just waiting for the rain to stop. Out tumbled the bear, owl, fox, moose, beaver, mother opossum and her baby, and finally the tiny firefly. And that night, all of the forest friends slept outside under the starry sky. And Barney and Baby Bop slept in a real tent that was just the right size for two dinosaurs. The end. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> now, if you'd like to read the book with me again, ask a grown-up to help you take this tape out of your player. Turn it over to the other side. Then play it again. <laughs> Happy reading!